Good morning, today Landon and I are gonna make pancakes. Hi and welcome to A Taste of Health. For the last few mornings, Landon has been asking to make pancakes, so that's what we're gonna do today. Our pancakes include uh, rolled oats, and I blend roll oats, and actually on Instagram, the picture I posted and I put the recipe on uh, makes 15 to 20 pancakes, but today we don't have as much, as much of the rolled oats as I need for 15 to 20 pancakes, so we're only gonna make a few, and um, it's only the three of us this morning, so we only need a few anyhow, but we have rolled oats, you need um, cauliflower, and I tend to get the riced cauliflower, but since, again, at the supermarket, they didn't have the riced cauliflower, and so we happen to have the cauliflower florets, so we'll just blend them in the blender. You need vanilla extract. I have vanilla bean powder, but you can, if you have vanilla extract, you can use the vanilla extract. And bananas, some walnuts, and then water, and that's it. Are you ready to make the pancakes? Here we go. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is blend our oats. And let's see how much I have in here. I don't have very much, so we're gonna modify our recipe according to how many cups of oats I have. So let's see, here we go. Um, it made a cup. All right, so what do we do next, Landon? Do you know? We blend it, right? Now, add it to the blender. We need to add one cup of water, one banana, and approximately one cup of cauliflower florets or about a half a cup of, ca of riced cauliflower. We pour that into the blender. And then you can add about a fourth of a cup of walnuts, then some vanilla extract. I do about a teaspoon. And then we put the cap on and blend the ingredients all up. And what I forgot to mention earlier in the video is that we do need baking soda and baking powder. So we need one teaspoon of baking soda and a baking powder. Then we mix, 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 mix the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients all together until it's smooth. And from there, what I do is I pour the batter into um, a measuring cup because it's easier to pour onto the pan that you're using to heat up the pancakes. Okay, so go ahead, Landy, pour it on. That's good. And then, that's okay, that's a perfect size. And then go ahead and put on the other side. And since we have the pancake griddle, we can make, do two at a time, three at a time. The two will be good. Excellent. And then what, what do we do, Landon? Do you remember? How do we know it's 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 ready to flip? Bubbly. But yes, when you start to see the bubbles on top. It's bubbling, but that doesn't that still doesn't mean because it because it, it just got on there. It just got on. Yes, yeah, so you want to see a few bubbles. Um, excellent. That was good. That was good. Um, oh, I was mm. afraid that was going to fall. <laughs> mm, nice and golden brown. Okay, so we just finished making our pancakes and we can't wait to dig in. And we, I use date syrup put on top of my pancakes and you can cut bananas and, and put slices of bananas on top and put walnuts, sprinkle walnuts on top because we tend to do that as well but since we don't have any more walnuts, 
uh, we're just gonna go ahead and eat it this way. Landon prefers to have maple syrup, which is fine. We allow them to have some maple syrup as well and um, pour just a little bit on top. So are you ready, Landon? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Landon, go ahead and taste yours and tell us what you think. we remember. Well, thank you, Landon, for helping me bake pancakes today. Would you have fun? Thank you for watching, and we hope you get to try some of our pancakes. Charlotte, what do you think of our pancakes that Landon and I made today? It is highly delicious. 